Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back in my Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign. And last time we killed some um some Kobo and now we try to help the heater to save his sh uh thing. Um don't like a foreign dragon. Either. Okay. While the gnomes were busy fighting, the kobolds furiously cursing and diligently punching their unwelcome guests right in their dragonish snout. All but forgotten. The unwitting cause of was being dragged away by the scared ponies and it slid down the ford, sinking all the way up to the coachman's seat in the river. This was where the Skunk River flows into the Tusk Water and the current becomes excessive and frightful, cold, stubborn and turbulent. Having taken hold of the gnome's cart, the Skunk River must have decided to drag it down amid all the commotion, but it was caught in the act. The surviving gnomes, led by the head of the gnome expedition, an extremely loud and Bellow, but not without some managerial talent, were able to catch the cart before it floated away. Faces red and grunting from the strain, they struggled to keep it from drowning entirely. Just then, a package fell into the water. With a heartbreaking splash, it vanished beneath the current, only to resurface 10 meters down the river. No! Head of the gnome expedition moaned as he glowered at the package. That was alchemy and life, the latest issue. After plunging on into the cold river, the ponies immediately lost nerve. Pulling their ears and twitching, they tried to chew through the reins and throw off the load. Why are you just standing around? Go on, help them. The head of the gnome expedition was visibly dissatisfied as he shouted. Uh, we set the crowbar under the cartwheel. Okay. This is the reason why we found the crowbar. Oh. Set under the wheel, the crowbar wedged into position against the stones on the riverbed, making the process of pulling the cart out of the river easier. One of us tried to jump there. Well, we try the rope to we tie the rope to the cart. Okay. But rope comes long. One, two, three, and the rope was securely tied to the cart, making it easier to pull out. Good lesson for every every adventurer. Never leave home without a rope. Rope is up again. Gathering our strength and again pulling the cart from the river. Wait, where are the ponies that we managed to find? We did do something with the ponies here. Shouldn't the they be? Seems clear. Where are they? Mm. Or was this because we... We did this before we... Ah, oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, she has 13 mobility and 9 law nature. So she will be the best to do this. 
She succeeded in the mobility check and in the law nature check. Mm. Now Carmen tied securely to the cart. The ponies neighed quietly, awaiting the order to being, begin pulling the cart from the river. If you're certain you are ready, then let's do it. But be careful, imagine the cart's full of gold or ale or some other thing you couldn't bear to lose. Ellery frowned. You should trust in our dignity than our greed, sir gnome. <laughs> the gnome rolls his eyes. For God's sake, pull the cart. <laughs> the cart creaked and cracked. Sounding as though it were sobbing. Hot strain against the combined of rushing waters pull against everything. Trying to pull the cart ashore. Unfortunately for the cart, both sides were talking. Something had to be done for the poor cart would be torn by to pieces. Okay, we can oh god. We can do a law nature check. We've got a plus five on law nature. So we can't. We can do an intelligence check. This is okay. A plus four this is fine. The closet ponies had worked themselves up onto a ladder and foam covered the bits. Baroness tried to calm and reassure them. I mean, why can't we let uh, Tristan do this? Strength. Let Charisma. Hmm. Seems there was little sense in wedging the lever beneath the wheel. It wasn't the least bit stable, and all our efforts of it were wasted. Baroness tried to use for it. Okay, let's do this. Our best chance. Hmm. This was the best thing we ever came close to. No cat, my noggy eggs. You don't get them. <sighs> I think I never saved the card. Son of a perplexed gnome gazed on it as his collection of boxes, packages, and bags slowly floated away. Okay, cat, run. Oh. Well then, thank you, travelers, for your oh-so-invaluable help. Well, he didn't help either. <laughs> we could try it again, couldn't we? Yeah, we should try it again, like... Just once more. I mean, we should boost ourselves like I always have the upper hand. At least with this thing. This gives us Plus, f plus two on dexterity. No, plus four on dexterity and the minus two on wisdom. We don't need wisdom. Okay, we set the crowbar. We tie a rope. How about... Well, hmm. let's do this. And succeed. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay. Plus four, plus four. Doesn't help. We still do only the checks ourselves and we must do the intelligence. Yes, we succeeded. Oh, I think this was the first time we I did this. It's good that we saved so closely before. After everyone's trial, first time when I did this, I didn't save before, and so I didn't do it. I don't think that I did it quite the same time. Because I forgot how um, hard it was to do it. Okay. Uh, want something to run after that? Okay. Come here. Look at Look at it. Run. Mm -hmm. After everyone struggled together for a while, the car finally made it out of the muddy riverbed and rolled back onto the rocky ground of the waiting ford, prompting some seemingly indignant nauseous and squelches as the river released its trophy and rushed along in search of Losing no time, the head of the gnome expedition jumped inside. For a good while, rattling and swearing were all that could be heard from the cart until the gnome's face finally reappeared from under the rooftop, seemingly satisfied. Almost everything's still in place here now, cheerfully jumping from the cart. All wet and crumpled, but at least nothing's missing. Thank you, travelers. If not for you, your help, guided by my keen supervision, <laughs> of course, I'd have had to say goodbye to all my possessions. We gained 11 XP for that. For all the trouble. So, okay, let's talk to this guy. Gnome that stands before you wears dirty and dragged clothes. They used to look stylish and wealthy long ago, but those times are long gone. His black hair is matted with deep, fresh scratch marks. Despite of his rather pathetic look, the gnome behaves with inner dignity and even manages to maintain a superior manner. Tubalos Nartropple, at your grace's service. I hope your you hear him. These kobolds and my almost drowned card was timely indeed. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's a shame no one organized a greeting party when such a famous and popular person as myself arrived here <laughs> at Nefertal. I wasn't expecting a red carpet covered with rose petals, but you could at least have sent ahead some delegation. Hopefully <laughs> some of my servants are still alive. Do you know how much it costs to train a proper servant? Well, yeah, okay. Too fast, never stopping also, him. while I'm on that, I'd like to make an official announcement. The roads in your barony are in terrible condition. People must search for wading fords to cross the rivers because no one had bothered themselves with building bridges, and honest travelers have to take the risk of being attacked by kobolds at any moment. Okay. So, what did you say your barony was called? Oh, whatever, never mind. When I draw the map of these lands, I will call them maybe local baroness will help. I guess it's a fitting name. <laughs> so nice. Gnome feels silent, felt silent at last. Just watches you with his shifty eyes opening and closing his mouth if he wants to say something more, but hasn't come up with anything yet. You think too highly of yourself, Sir Gnome. Behave with some dignity while you're on these lands. Oh, I see, the very spirit of knighthood embodied. So, what do you propose me to do, Sir Knight? Should I lie? <laughs> By no means. But you shall not be so blunt. I bid you to express your opinion in a more courteous form. Yeah. Your problem, Sir Knight, is that you worry too much about form and appearance. Unsurprisingly so, considering your pretty face. 
As for me, I worry solely about the content. Mallory blushes even more and turns away. It seems to you that the gnome has stepped on her toe. Uh, how do I? How do you know I I'm? I told you I visited your capital some time ago. Aren't you listening to me? And I'm used to being greeted by officials when I arrive to settlements of at least some importance. The glory of myself <laughs> and my exploits usually precedes me, and officials usually prefer to be on good terms with me. I didn't know you'd come. Yes, you're right. I should have remembered that your lands are in the middle of nowhere, and you don't get updates on important things in time. So, what happened here? Yeah, that's not. You said you were famous, but I don't know you. <laughs> that you're, f you're famous that for. That was either a stupid and offensive joke, or a case of total ignorance. Yeah. <laughs> the latter, I hope. I'm famous as a traveler, a cartographer, an alchemist, and a journalist. The students of all the major universities study the world using my maps. My articles for different journals are well known everywhere from Andorran to Brevoy. <laughs> You've definitely read some issues of National Alchemy, haven't you? Mm hmm. Of course. Culinary Almanac of the Inner Sea? Mm hmm. Or the most scandalous one, the Independence, describing benefits and drawbacks of governments and regimes in different states? Didn't read any of these. Oh, well, don't answer that. I don't want to spoil my impression of your barony. It's spoiled enough already. It would be hard for me to write at least something positive otherwise. <laughs> Wait, the Jubilas Narthrapple? Author of the 14 and a half eulogies to Pitax? Oh my, every student in the Academy of Grand Arts devoured your books, especially after King Arabetti banned them, tried you in absentia, and sentenced you to death. <laughs> hmm, hmm. I see at least someone in this shabby barony has at least a rudimentary education, even if they got them in such a dubious establishment as the Pitax Academy of Grand Arts. <laughs> dubious establishment. <laughs> <laughs> I was expelled for irreverence. Ah, is this so? Well, if it is true, then you just might not be beyond hope. <laughs> so what is such a famous person doing at far from I realization? Two objectives. The first is to write an article on this new barony of yours for the independence. The second is to draw a detailed map of the stolen lands. Before this barony appeared, it had been too dangerous to come here, but now an opportunity has appeared. Thanks to you, I must add. So, as you can see, the freedom of speech sometimes grants positive comments too. Mm hmm. Anyway, I'm almost done with this journey. My article is practically ready, so is the map. All that's left to do now is to find an old dwarven outpost established here several centuries ago. Yeah, like, um, um, old harem wants to find. What is this dwarven outpost you're searching Your for? Your ignorance is stunning. You create a barony and still you know nothing about the lands you own. I'll have to enlighten you on the subject. But this is not in our land. It's in his Nal marches, and they are not my land yet. You see, long ago there was a dwarven trade route crossing these lands. It connected Five Kings Mountains and the north. The route was so important to the dwarves that they were generous enough to set a number of outposts along it manned with armed guardians to provide protection for the traders. One of these outposts must be somewhere nearby, lost and completely forsaken, but nothing can avoid the watchful eye of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartrople. <laughs> I will find this outpost, and I will mark its location on the map. You can trust me on that. How many is the old Warven outpost abandoned? Is it possible it is now used by trolls as a lair? For instance. Why not? Dwarves like being underground, trolls like being underground too. It's quite possible after dwarves left, their warm and cozy place fell into the hands of less attractive creatures. Looking for the trolls here. Yeah, maybe we are looking for the same place. Let's join our efforts and start looking together.
Well, you prove to be a capable companion in <coughs> case of emergency. I guess I can entrust you with covering my back. Let's go. I will send someone for my cart later. Okay, now he lets his cart stand here. Okay. Whom do we get out? Uh, Lindsay? Or... Jubilos, yeah, you have a heavy crossbow plus one, so it's okay. This one. Oh, you've got a leather armor plus one. Nice. Now you also got these two. So, let's see. You are an. Um, Alchemist, and you're good at throwing stuff. Mm. One of these, and one of these, and this one. So now we've got three um, ranged fighters, two melee fighters, and one in between. Uh, it was probably probably I should have let um, Lindsay back. Okay, well, let's move on. The way seems clear. Well, we could just take all this stuff with us because, um, because I want to go in the other direction. Because in between episodes, I did following. I was looking where to find the last necklace, necklace, and it's up here somewhere. So. Probably go home. To the main square. Sell everything. Hmm? Come on, cat. Let's do this. Oh. I'm sorry. <coughs> So I'm back. My cat wanted something to hunt after, and my first throw was abysmal. First, we go to Hasuf. Hasuf. Should I keep this enhancement plus one finesse wielding monk weapon? Nah, monk weapon. We don't. Let's sell all this stuff. Ooh, what's that? Cooking Almanac of the Inner Sea by Jubilos Nartropel. Yes, Aviston's most popular dish in the capital of Shadiax. In a cheese crust and sprinkled with lemon juice. Local fishermen use a different cooking method in Kira, which is on the opposite end of Aviston. 
you will find it. Find the chopped and mixed cold ingredient. No, I don't now read a cooking almanac. What's that? Fighting the bleaching. This is also for uh, gnomes. Ah, I found it in. Find yourself some soulmates. They must just give you a new lease of life. About this, we can. Or I'm sure about that. Okay, deal. Is there. Real bad nightmare. We will welcome. We did all these. We just reward. Okay. Troll trouble. Renowned explorer. Locate the ancient outpost. Okay. Unwanted legacy. Harry wants to see the, this thing. How to build a kingdom. You can't build a strong nation by neglecting its problems. Okay. Even though our ruler keeps facing endless problems, the own land gets stronger, slightly more faster. Uh, next development in 15 days and 3 hours. Okay, in 15 days we will have to face this problem. Okay, we need a treasurer. This will be Jubilos at five regions. And all that's left is to build a laboratory. Yeah, we did that around. To the wolf. I did all this. I didn't didn't get anything. There was I thought there was one quest concerning a book. Probably not. Well. My dear friends, next time we will get to this um, other thing, and then we will get the um, a new magical necklace. Until then, see you. Bye.